Hi guys, I'm Ed. I'm Harry. Welcome back to One Night Stand. Now, some of you may have seen, we just reached 365 days on YouTube. So we thought to celebrate, we'd play one of our favourite games from last year, which was One Night Stand. It is. Now, we're going to try today for an ending that we've never had before. No, we're not going to spoil what that ending is. No, I mean, we've got six so far, and we've got six left to get, so it's all to play for. We do. Now, for those of you who haven't seen us play this before, we've done maybe four or five different ones of this, because we just adore this game. Mm. The music is already making me feel nostalgic. I know. I love this game. Last night, what happened? What song is that? Or is it? Last Night by the Strokes. All right. It's like, yeah, this is what happened after our big game hog celebration. You know, we went out. Yeah. Got crazy drunk. And the one night stand. Yeah. Now both of us are in bed with this strange woman. Lady. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up, phone. Mate, what they happened to you last night? I'd forgotten you did the voice for Gary. Yeah, we went out with Gary last night. He doesn't sound too happy that we ditched him. Should I respond? Yeah, fuck it. We're, we're a good mate. No idea. Oh, low, low battery. battery. What a problem. My phone's about to die. It's funny because it's an iPhone and iPhones do have low battery. That's funny. Still the best line in the whole game. That's great, isn't Just it? the shock. I'm completely naked. Whoa! You've got to say all... Oh, no, you don't say it at this point. No, you? no. no you, can't, you can't see her ass, so Not I yet. can't comment on it. That's true. Why am I in her bed? Still I'll tell you what she needs as a voice. We'll get there. Okay. Who is she? Who is Who she? Who is she? You got pretty hair. I like your hair. What? Sorry, I don't know. I got creepy there. Fair enough. I should check my phone. Someone's probably sent me some epic nudes on Snapchat. Ugh, I knew I shouldn't <laughs> have updated the OS on this thing. I don't remember these lines. I remember this one because I remember it being very meta. Oh. Don't buy iPhones, kids. Because <laughs> that happens. At least they're not doing a Samsung Note S7. Yeah, because And it just explodes and that's the end of the game. So I think we should get out of here then. We haven't done that many times, have we? Let, I need to get the hell out of here before she wakes up. I better... Oh. oh. Arg. Maybe she's a little freaked out about all this. I know I am. It's not that weird, is it? I don't think so. To wake up going, oh, I went out last night and woke up next to a woman who I don't remember. I must have gotten drunk. I mean, the game Maybe I should ask her her name and what happened. It's not that hard. No, I mean, the game feels quite retro in its style and I guess in its values. I think One Night Stands, there's less of a stigma around them now. Yeah, it's true. We shouldn't snoop around. No, we, we should We always snoop around. We, yeah, let's, let's... Okay, I found my jeans. Okay. Look a bit dirty, though. Where'd that stain come from? Fucking gross. I really need to find my boxes before I put them on, though. Okay, fair what? enough. At least he's got the morals to put the fucking pants on first, even if he hasn't found them yet. This... Never socks before pants, though. That, that can't be done. Well, it's the people who put socks on before anything. Yeah, I mean, the that's real just sin. disgusting. What's this? This flyer looks like it has seen better days. Paradox, Paradox Monday this. Madness. Free entry to the shittest club in the made-up universe of One Night Stand. Yeah, I'm drinking on a school night. That's good for us. I know, mad. Although this reminds me of something called Monday Night Guildford, back where I'm from, yeah. which is like... <laughs> the local student night out, which wow. was never good, but I, it was all you had. Nothing about that name strikes me as implying it was good. No. Prophylactic. It's a condom. Well, the rapper at least. Seems we had some sense last night. Use protection, kids. At least that's one mystery wrapped up. <laughs> ha ha! This guy. Penis jokes. Well, us. Uh, what should I say? Hey, I mean, what, what have we done? I can't remember. I'm gonna pause. Okay. Um, sorry for dashing out- Oh, no matter what you said, so I was there. Sorry right. for dashing out of the room like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. It's okay. I was just a little shocked when I was suddenly smothered by the bed covers. And the pillow. Mm. Die! This is for leaving me, Gary! I'm not Gary! I see. Is everything okay? Um, I don't want to go into it. I had the worst diarrhea dump after eating a oh. kebab last night. Oh, right. <laughs> That's fucking gross. I see you have your jeans there! <laughs> That's some great chat. I mean, one thing I remember is that in every iteration we played, she always said, I did expect you to leave. Yeah. So we should maybe just try and leave. Maybe you're right. Uh, not really. I was woken up by my phone buzzing. Oh, I wonder what that was. It woke me up too. My phone would actually do that because my phone's off the Richter your scale. Your vibrator is insane. I mean, your... Oh, God. <laughs> Don't put that in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh. Moving on. <laughs> you you don't look so good. You aren't so hot yourself, love. Back hey, off a bit. Come on, she's lovely. Sorry, sorry. I'll be back in a minute. Right, she's gone. Got to try and keep it cool. Keep, right. Keep. I, oh, sorry, sorry. Dad ass. There we go. Pants and out, I think. For the love of God, don't touch that teddy bear. For the love of God. How did my shirt end up all the way over here? <laughs> oh, that's our shirt. Stings of sweat, smoke, and feces, blood, everything. God, it was a mixed bag. Oh, there they are. Oh, those are our socks. That's her socks. That must be her sock. Okay, come Oh, my underwear's under there. I wonder how these ended up on her side of the bed. I can- I can give you an answer. 
God, I've missed I've missed all this. I've already really smashed I mean, up. All the story games you played over the past few months, none of them have com- even compared to the depth of this one. You know, this one has kept me going a long time, and the other one just can't compete. Even Emily was away. That was a really, really good one, but it doesn't come anywhere near this, no. I think. The problem with buying a drink is that at no point is that necessarily always a, a romantic gesture. So you can go, oh, can I buy you a drink? And some girls will go, yes, you can. They'll take it and go, I'm going to go see my boyfriend now. Yeah. She's deliberately wasted my time and my money. Like, she just wanted to talk to me like some kind of I know. person. She got stood up last night. Hmm. So we did it standing up last night. Wait. So. Didn't you have a voice you were going to do for her? I did. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you had a good night in the end. Although I think my mate's a bit pissed off with me for ditching him. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God, no, do not do that voice. She's nice. I'm assuming she's British. No. It's fine. We were just in the middle of a bar crawl. I'm sure he'll get over it. I didn't realize uh, you were out with anybody else. Anyone's wondering what that voice is from? That's from Choices, our other series we're doing on uh, multi-part uh, story games. You can see me in the description below. Hold on, which bar? Uh-oh, she's on to me. I can't remember anything. I have no idea which bar. Sure, I found that flyer and sandbar card, but they could have... They could have be- they could have be anything? Wait, do you even remember my name? Do you know ours? Cause I don't know ours! This is humiliating. Well, it takes two to tango, love. I was waiting at the bar at the Paradox Nightclub around 10pm. I've been waiting there for a while. I was pretty tipsy and vaguely remember you approaching me. You didn't seem too drunk, but I certainly fixed that. So we got drunk with her then, well that's okay. Indeed. We had a round chatting and then got chatting. That didn't work together, fuck. Um, there's still so many things I don't remember about last night. Maybe I can find some more clues around here? No. no. Go home. Let's see what we can do. I can't leave now, she'll see me. That's fine. Something that's not invasive. Let's just check the mirror. Yes. We're wearing clothes! Yes, we that's are. That's such a cool little feature, I forgot. That's Isn't really that interesting. Yet? Wow. Oh, this is all so new. This is probably the newest thing in this episode. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, I may feel like crap, but I've certainly seen worse pink polo shirts. Grab my phone, let's go home. Completely out of juice. If my phone wasn't dead, I might be able to find out what's going on or where I am at least. Okay, so we haven't been snooping. Nope. Uh, sorry about that. Who was at the door? Just the mailman. Ordered some books online. Huh, wonder if she answered it dressed like that. She's not dressed that inappropriate. Well, she's in pants. Have you ever done anything like this before? Stall. Stall. We've never stalled. Sorry, I think I'm making you uncomfortable. Yeah. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't want this to be typical. Right. I mean, you're still here. You didn't sneak out before I woke up, or whilst I was out of the room. I don't know. You were nice to me last night. But I did expect you to leave. So we didn't leave in time, then? Maybe. She's happy I'm still here. I must have managed to make a good impression then, all things considered. She hasn't asked us our name. No. We didn't really get to know each other last night. How about finding our name? Ask us our name! Why can't she ask us what our name is? I don't know. Tell you what. While she's throwing up... We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave. Okay. Sorry, be right back. Bananas! What should I do? Just wait, and then uh, maybe you wait, then you can then leave. I'll wait for her to come back. Maybe I can look around some more. Ah, uh, no shit. Go, go, go. Okay, here we go. I think I can hear her throwing up in the bathroom. Should I still leave? Yes. She said you want us to leave. We'll leave. Oh! Oh my god, we've never seen that before. Whoa! Oh, I feel bad leaving now. Shit, the door's locked. This is totally new stuff. Oh, what are we doing? What do we do? I don't know, I don't know. Um, key somewhere? There's some paper clips and useless stuff, and a key! <gasps> so, uh, click on the lock. Maybe the key I found will fit here. Bingo, it seems to lo- don't lock. Hmm, the door still won't budge. Feels looser on the bottom, though. Perhaps I should flick this lock. Oh, no. Yes, we're out. As the door opens, you step through and don't look back. Oh my goodness. You doubt she could have noticed you leaving. You have no desire to find out more about the girl. Oh, I didn't mean that to happen. As you use precautions, you feel no need to stay in touch. You assume that she may have been looking for something deeper than a one-night stand. They said it! That's why they called they it. They said it! That's why they called it that. She seemed all right enough, but you're glad to be out of there. You hurriedly walk down the street with no idea of how you're going to get home. That's not how I wanted this to go. No. We were told that there's a way that you can get her to ask your name. Yeah. And there's an there's an alternative thing where if you say your name's Gary, she goes, well, at least you're not the asshole Gary who <laughs> left me last night. And then you go, oh, so it was 
like you start putting it together than maybe it was. it was. Well, that wasn't what we were going for, but I mean, I still enjoy playing this again. And if you guys want to see us play the other five endings, let us know and we will try and figure out how to get through them. Indeed. I just can't express how much I love this game. I mean, we know yeah. we've done a lot of these videos before, but just to honor the fact that it's been a whole year of us doing this mm -hmm. on YouTube, we just wanted to give it a, a little bit of a yeah. play, get an ending we've yeah. never got before. And I mean, of all the games you played this last year, this remains my favorite. I, I can't say why, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's wonderful. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, be sure to like the video, subscribe to GameHog if you already haven't. And if you would like to see us play more to get some of the new endings we haven't seen yet, leave us a comment. Otherwise, guys, if you'd like to play it yourself, go and find it on Steam. It's called One Night Stand by Lucy Blundell. It's well worth playing, well worth supporting in the artists like this. The link is in the description below if you want it there. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching so much and we'll see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye Zs. <laughs>